In 2004, I saw a program on Four Corners where uh, Julian Burnside, a QC from Melbourne, talked about his involvement with the refugees and his uh, political awakening. After seeing him on that program, I contacted him and said I had an idea. I wanted to paint a history painting of him as I saw him as an important figure in the 20th century uh, Australia. And I thought that if I could somehow make a work of, uh, that would tell the story of the refugee policy of the Howard government and at the same time highlight the importance of his work in highlighting this issue to Australians. Uh, Gericault's uh, famous painting Raft and Medusa was a, um, an image that I have used quite a few times before in my work as a, like a container, a reminder, a historic metaphor for other types of incidences that deal with this idea of the coast and its meaning. Um, so I tended to use the image as a, um, a reminder. Uh, it has close historic parallels with uh, the Tampa issue, uh, political corruption, um, the government appointees, the, the idea of covering up an issue. So these two um, issues seem to mirror one another. So the uh, series of work which started with a portrait, a history portrait of Julian Burnside, using the raft of Medusa as a, uh, a shadow, a memory shadow, um, for me tended to then lead to a whole series of other work using this image and other references. Uh, and having uh, dealt with uh, the idea of migration in the 80s, earlier, um, I saw this as a, a follow-up series to uh, my previous work called the Migration Series. Um, this series dealt with my own uh, cultural heritage and at a different period where it was more celebrationary. So it's very poetic. It was about my, um, the migration of my grandmother from uh, Lebanon to Cuba to uh, Melbourne and then New Zealand in which I retraced her heritage through a series of exhibitions. Uh, in 2002 I pulled that together, those whole series of exhibitions into a show called the Migration Series and it toured the regional galleries. That at the time was almost uh, in, in uh, reaction to the new government's um, attitude towards uh, migration and also I think Pauline Hanson at the time had reared her uh, views which I saw a gradual shift in the concept of the coastline in Australia and also I think from my experience of living in what I call suburban Australia uh, that people tended to change their views and this idea of them and us and the word un-Australian uh, even the word wog, which I grew up with in the 60s, tended to shift and not be so um, accommodating. So the series of work raft came out of that frustration for me as an Australian that my, my country, the country I thought it was, uh, from that period has, had shifted quite a lot. And I think um, as an artist, my only way of speaking is through visual imagery and I'd committed myself to a series of work that would try to indicate um, uh, those feelings, but also try to make it uh, the work universal rather than uh, provincial in a sense. Albert Camus, the famous French writer, said um, that he's a human first and a writer second. So I think this is the way I think about my work. It's when I saw what was happening with government policy, and some of the shifts in this social fabric of Australia, I felt that one had to say something. Um, and with um, visual arts, one has to somehow communicate visually with an idea and try to communicate. I don't think it's uh, worthwhile uh, any ambiguity about what's happening. I think uh, we have now historically incredible tools from the modernist period of how to express a whole range of issues technically. 
one thing I think that has uh, stayed constant is this idea of drawing and, and uh, drawing ideas and the idea of a sketchbook. So the sketchbooks for me and um, were a way, a, a great tool, a private tool, uh, not a tool that we uh, necessarily want to share, but when you're creating images and working out ideas, the, the, the sketchbook becomes a, a companion, but also a way of you visualising your content. Uh, and the drawings for me have always been very important um, of working out um, references and even ideas. Uh, Jules Michelin, the French writer, said uh, about the raft and Medusa, uh, we are all on the raft, all humankind. And uh, that to me was um, a fascinating context for how I might uh, approach this idea of sketchbooks and um, make the sketchbooks part of this uh, exhibition and the context of it. Uh, as private as they were, with the show now existing, then the, the, the sketchbooks can become a public document for this uh, historic time, which as sad as it is, it, uh, um, it traces a sort of um, uh, kind of visual mapping of this particular historic time, which I think there are still remnants of, uh, as the Edmund Rice Foundation I know are just uh, still dealing with the, the refugees that were sent back, uh, sometimes illegally, to other countries and uh, they're tracing what has happened to them, what, what has been their life. Uh, so that moment in our uh, migration policies been uh, uh, still creating um, uh, remnants of this very sad uh, human tragedy that happened in Australia.